Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd sit and do a QA and a because not many people actually know much about me. Unless you follow me on Instagram then you don't know too much, do you know what I mean? So I just thought this would be a nice video to do. I guess if my makeup last, I filmed it. Anyway, I don't want this intro to be really long so let's just get on with the video. I asked for questions over on my Instagram once uh, just so you can get to know me a bit better if that makes sense yeah one of the questions i always get asked is if i had worked into myself which i haven't i literally had nothing done but everyone always asks me about i've had lip filler and i'm just sat there thinking where have you got like where is this thought coming from in your head because my lips are tiny that like, i literally overline them it's but there's this one filter i've been using on my Instagram stories and it makes my lips look like I've absolutely overlined them to literally about here. It's because I think the filler just makes your lips bigger and honestly it makes me look like a twat but the filler is so nice I can't stop using it. I get asked if I've had a boob job which where have you got where is that coming from because if I did I'd literally want it refunded I'd want it redone because they're not even the same size and they're not even big. Do you know what I mean? So I'd be wanting a refund. I feel like I've done my whole makeup today absolutely sheer and I'm literally only on my eyes because my eyebrows look so dark and that eyeshadow, the start of it is gonna absolutely wank. My sister's got um, the new Adele song playing. How good, how good is that new Adele song? Because I'm absolutely obsessed. I've always loved Adele. If you're not an Adele fan, then I'm not your friend. I'm sorry, but I'm not your friend. I love Adele. Because obviously, what's it called? Um, I've just left sixth form and stuff. I do get a lot of questions about uni and if I'm planning on going to uni, which I'm not. And the reason I'm not is because I didn't... I really, really wanted to be a teacher for you, like, school. I even wanted to be a teacher or work in, like, pastoral care in a school. And... To be honest, I still would, but I wanted to be a maths teacher and I did maths as an A-level. Dropped it after the first year because I just couldn't deal with it. It was just so, so hard. And then I, I carried on doing English literature and I really wanted to be an, an English lit teacher. And then for that, I've loved with English. So I went like in love with a subject to go and do, go to uni and do it at uni. I do think uni is a really good, good thing and i do think it's really nice that someone has such a passion for something they want to go to uni if that makes sense some people do think that like i've just like thrown away in that my potential because i was smart i was like academically smart i'm not common sense smart if that makes sense but academically i was quite good and people think i've like thrown that potential away which i don't think i have because i've still got my gcse's i've still got a levels i can go to uni if i want to go to uni in the future but right now i do it doesn't interest me whatsoever but also like following on from that question people like asking what i do now and what i'm actually doing is taking this whole year and i'm focusing it on all my socials because what's it called i really really this is what i want to do instagram and stuff like that this is what i want to do this is the only thing that i can see myself doing which i did want to go into fashion at uni this, this was my plan i'm just rambling now but i'm just gonna have to finish my story but i got halfway through year 13 and i was like i'm gonna do fashion at uni didn't take an art subject did i so couldn't do that which was fine it didn't really matter but i do clothes wise that that is what i really like i like I like doing my makeup things like that and i just like talking and i feel like i've got that creative side that this is a good thing for me a lot of people have said it to me that it suits me so well and to be honest it does so i am glad i've chose to spend my time doing something that i know i want to do then going to uni and then doing this on the side and it'd be too much work that like i wouldn't have the time to focus and put my all into something that I, I love if that makes sense. I did make a hot chocolate before I started filming this video. I can't stop drinking hot chocolate. It's freezing though, isn't it? It's, my dad keeps telling me it's going to be an 
absolute freezing winter because of all the nuts that have come off the trees. I don't, I don't actually understand it, but something to do with the trees now when it's going to be cold in the winter or something. I think I've put too much foundation on this brush, I don't know. I don't want to use all this. Oh God. Nope, nope. Someone just asked me like how I was doing, which honestly i find it really nice that people are actually interested in me it's so weird though like it's weird that people genuinely care but like they don't fully know me i say it like i put my whole life on the internet i don't i do share a lot on instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram and like you've just found my channel out of the blue then i do ch share a lot and um i do i do find it so crazy that people start I don't know and they're just interested it's really nice actually but how am i i'm really good to be honest i think this year i've been the happiest i've ever been i was seeing loads of tiktoks about changing their life focusing on themselves and i it is literally from i don't do anything i don't like doing anymore everything i do is for me if that makes sense this foundation does match my body by the way i know it doesn't ma i don't tan my face just to clear that up i just think i've it sounds so cringy but really falling in love with myself this year i've still got a long way to go but i am really happy which is nice it's nice to just know you're happy i think the reason i'm really happy is because nobody is in my life that i don't like if i sit and think about it i have my friendship group like i'm still friends with all the people i went to school with like there's six of us including me so there's like five friends and then one of my best friends he's we've been friends since i was in like year nine going into year ten so a long time it, it's crazy because he, he's become one of my, my bestest friends and then I'm also friends with this other girl. So I literally have about six, seven friends and then I have my boyfriend and then I'm like best friends with my sister. So honestly, if you feel like shit, get everybody out of your life that you don't like because you'll see a huge difference. But if they've not got good intentions towards you, if they're not trying to support you, but also if they're not trying to better you do you know what i mean like my friends it's literally we're all there for each other and stuff but if we think something like say i'm doing something and it's not good my friend will literally just tell me that like, why are you doing that just don't what is the point and that is the type of friends you need you need someone to cheer you on and make sure you're actually doing the right thing you're not being stupid Someone also um, asked how me and my boyfriend are and how, how's our relationship, which honestly, we're the happiest we've ever been and it's really nice. We've been together three years in December. It's the 23rd of December and it's crazy because where has the time gone, do you know what I mean? That we're not just like boyfriend and girlfriend, we're literal best friends. Like, I, I don't know why I couldn't imagine myself not being with him. Someone just asked what my zodiac sign is. I'm an Aries. Does, is that a zodiac sign? Hmm. Yeah, I think. I was born on the April 11th, 2003. When I think 2003 and then I think that I'm literally 18, then I'm like, what? It's literally crazy to me that people that was born in 2010 are in year seven. Like, what? <laughs> like, actual what? I'm really confused. And then I was thinking, I was just in a moment and um do you know you just think about stuff that i started secondary school in 2014 so in literal two years because it's going to be 2022 basically because it's october now so it, i am counting it's 2022 so in literal like two and a bit years i would have started secondary school 10 years ago like, I, I just don't understand because what does that mean does that mean like we're getting old? I'm quite excited to grow old, you know. As much, honestly, as much as I loved um, being like 14, 15, 
I loved being in school and on the weekends in school when you'd sit and get drunk at the park. It was just the funniest memories, weren't it? As much as I loved that, and then I literally love what I do now. And I just think life does get better, doesn't it? Just every year does seem to get better, if that makes sense. The only thing I'm scared about growing older, please, honestly, don't give me wrinkles. Don't give them me. Just don't. I don't want wrinkles. Someone asked me what like my biggest dream is. I have a lot and I'm not sure if I want to share them all. But one of my dreams that I'm not sure if it is ever going to happen because it is a bit out there. I want to act. I, I just want to act for like a year. I just want a year like contract. I want, do want to go into acting. I think I'm so dramatic. And as much as I'm really shy when you meet me at first. Playing a different character is different. Do you know what I mean? The only thing I struggle with I'd have to sit and fully learn my lines. But I'm quite good at that. I'll write my lines out over and over again and say them over and over again. And then I just end up learning them. But I also want a clothing line. Like imagine Alicia Crow times something like a brand. Would love that. I have quite a few. I'm just going to name them two. Not just a like an edit, not just like a clothing edit, because like at least clothes times it's like an edit. I want my own clothing brand, that's like my dream for the future. But I'll leave you wondering the others. What I'm excited about in the future. Do you know, honestly, I'm excited to just live. I want, there's a lot of things I want to do in, like before, before kids and stuff, I want to travel, I want to fully travel. I don't just want, what's it called, party holidays and stuff. As much as they seem fun, I want to literally, literally just see the world. I feel like I have succeeded in life the day I have bought a house. It's literally, I've always wanted to do with that. I've seen this thing and it's, it said, imagine in 10, 15 years time, you and your, you and your like husband and partner, whatever, is literally in it's Christmas Eve in 10 15 years like set the scene Alicia so it is Christmas it's Christmas Eve and you and your partner is literally sat there putting all the presents for your children under the tree and then you just, it just hits midnight and you just say Merry Christmas Merry Memory Merry Christmas I said it again Merry Christmas and you just think I've done it, everything that I've ever wanted, I have, kind of thing, and that is like the dream, do you know what I mean? I have just realised I've made a hot chocolate and then I've got to take pictures that I'm going to look bloated in the pictures, but who cares? We're all human, we all get bloated, do you know what I mean? And if you don't get bloated, I am extremely jealous. I have started to like myself without eyelashes, which is crazy to me because I hated myself ages with no eyelashes but i do think i'm gonna put some eyelashes on today do you know who looks phenomenal with dark eyeshadow and no eyelashes olivia neal and if i could be anyone in this world it'd be olivia neal or molly may because how stunning do you know what i mean someone asked if what's it called what age do i want to start a family oh, i don't ask me stuff like this i'm literally 18 i'm not I'm not fully thinking about that yet. No time soon. That is basically the answer. No time soon. I'm gonna go and stick my eyelashes on now. I'm literally gonna end this video here because I've literally finished doing my makeup, so. If you'd like me to do another one of these, then I can. I don't have to get ready at the same time, but anyway, I don't need to keep rambling, do I? Yeah, make sure you follow my Instagram and stuff like that, and I'll see you in the next video.